We have around just under 18,000 abortions or women who pass the committee a year. Um, this is a pretty steady number throughout the years, which means there's a decrease in numbers of women um, getting abortions because the population is growing. So that's more or less the number, uh, out of which 3% are minors. Now, give us a more in-depth explanation of, of what the process is for women who want to get abortions in Israel and why the health ministry or the health minister specifically wants to change that. So today, if a woman in Israel wants to have an abortion, it means she needs to come in front of a committee and get their approval for her to do the procedure. Um, she needs to fall under one of four categories, either her age, I mean she's under 18 or over 40, or marital status, if she's unmarried, and if the pregnancy was a result of uh, mar uh, sex out of wedlock or rape or incest. Um, the third category is health of the mother, which means the, um, the pregnancy can cause her serious health damage or psycho psychologist, psychological damage. Uh, for that, she'll need a psychiatrist's letter to approve. And if there's a problem with the fetus. Um, so if she doesn't fall under one of these categories, she can't have an abortion in Israel. Um, so today you need to actually go do the tests, go to wherever hospital you want to do the abortion in. You can either do it in a public hospital or in a private hospital. There are legal private hospitals you can do it in. And there's another section which is the illegal uh, abortion section which we don't have any, uh, we don't have much data on it, how many women actually access it because it's not documented but it's also a pretty large field from what we know. Well, there, there's a whole private sector of abortions, you know, that reap the benefits of the process being harder when you're going through the public health care system. Because I, I mean, you said that it's illegal to get to get an abortion here, but the, like you said, there are many ways in which you can legally do that, and one of those ways is through private health care. So, can you tell us a little bit about how the private sector has kind of, I guess, <laughs> uh, been benefited by the difficulty it is to go through the public health care system? I'll make the, the differentiation between the legal public sector and the illegal public se sector because you can go to some private sector like clinics that have an approval from the Ministry of Health and do a committee there. You can go in front right. of the committee there and get your abortion there. So if you go through the, the, um, like the, reg like the, the public hospitals, for most women abortions are completely funded. If you're under 33 or if it's a, um, one of the more medical reasons, then it's funded. But it takes much longer to get it because you need to get the appointment and it's like, it can take like two, three weeks from when you discover you're pregnant till you can get your abortion. And if you go to the private section, the legal one, and you pay money for it, then you'll have your committee and the abortion at the same day. You know, pay 2,000, 2,500 shekels, and it's done. Um, so, which obviously means that women who have less means or are from, right. you know, marginalized communities don't have access to this to much better health care, which we see in other forms of health care. And then you have the third section, which is like the illegal one, in which women, for instance, married women who can't pass the committee, it can range from 4,000, 5,000 shekels in cash under the table to get an abortion. Right. Well, I, I just wanted to ask you about the health minister's plan, you know, what he's presenting there, and how, you know, women's rights activists see this policy change. First of all, we're thrilled about this step towards change. And we're, we're like, in our wildest dreams, we didn't think it would happen like so fast. We've had, you know, years of a very conservative Ministry of Health, so it's very, we're very optimistic about it. Um, there's two ways to address this issue. There's what the Minister of Health can do within his um, authority mm -hmm. as, as the Ministry of Health, which means they can't change the law. For that, they'll have to get, you know, the government and the uh, Knesset to vote for it. But what he can do as, as in the Ministry of Health is change some of the things that they can do in the committee. So uh, they're changing some of the questions for, to make them be less um, offensive and digitalize the forms so they're much easier and there's more access. And, and they can change small like um, procedures in a, in, like, to make women's life easier. Right. Um, but that's the most they can do. It's not changing the law. So women will still have to go through the committee. They'll still need the approval. Um, but it might be a bit easier as a, you know, as the experience for women to go through this. All right. Well, I'd like to thank you so much for joining us and kind of breaking down the specifics of this. Obviously, you know, the process through which a, a woman is able to get an abortion in Israel has a large impact on, on you know, the economics of, of health care for, for women. So I'd like to thank you for breaking that down.